here is a quick and easy way to add some leaves blowing in the wind of your blender scene. First, you will need your leaf image with a transparent background. You can generate this in mid-journey and use GIMP to remove the background. Let's grab one and drop it into GIMP. Right click on the layer and add an alpha channel. Select the fuzzy tool, set the feathered edge radius to about 5 and the threshold to about 100. Click on the background and press delete. If you still see too much of a white rim, then click again and delete some more. Now just export it as a PNG. Rename it if you don't want to overwrite the original. Then we jump over to Blender. I'll start by removing the default cube. Reset the camera transforms negative 5 on the Y location and a 90 degree rotation on X. Then I'll set the camera lens type to orthographic for my 2D scene. Shift A to add a plane mesh for the background image. Control A to apply rotation. Let's move it back a bit and scale it according to our image aspect ratio. Zero on the numpad for camera view, S to scale. Make the image just bigger than your camera view. Shift A to add our emission plane and scale it to about three along the X axis. Let's rotate it to minus 100 around Y. G to move, lock it along the X and move it to out of frame. Shift A to add our leaf images as planes. If you have more than one, you can select them all. Move these out of frame too. And to see the leaves, go to Materials or Render View. Now we select the emitter plane and add a particle system. Drop number emitted to about 100. Start frame at negative 250 and end at 250. Activate rotation. Set randomize and randomize phase to max and turn on dynamic. We'll tweak angular later. Let's set the mass to 0 0.1. The render as to object. Scale to 1 and scale randomness to max. Then select the leaf. If you play the animation you'll see they're a little flaccid. Shift A to add a force field and select wind. R to rotate, G to move it behind the leaf emitter, S to scale. Under the physics properties, we can set the strength and add some noise. Let's add a background. Select the plane and go to the shader workspace. Delete the BSDF node. Shift A to add an image texture node and an emission node. Connect them up and select your image. Now let's fix the lighting on our leaves. Pick an appropriate light source for your scene and place it in a good spot. Tweak the color, strength and direction until you find something that looks good. Now let's add some turbulence. I'll keep it subtle with a lowered strength and flow, but increase the noise. Shift D to duplicate if you want more areas affected. I have four leaf types, so let's have them all emitted. Select the plane and duplicate the particle system. And click new particle settings so that they can be individually changed. Change the instance objects of each to the different leaves. We can see the emissions are clumping. To fix that, we need to give them unique seeds. Pick your favorite lottery numbers here. That's much better. Now we just need them to rotate a bit more, so add some angular velocity. Not too much, and these can be set to the same since there is already enough randomness. Lastly, if your leaves are looking a little shiny, then drop the specular and roughness in the leaf shaders.
And there you have it, Leaves in the Wind. I hope you found it useful. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Cheers for now. <laughs>